This is where you can start to enter the details needed to complete your safety and security declaration. The left hand menu is categorized into different types of information. It represents the different types of data you need to enter before submitting a declaration to the HMRC. The red and green dots indicate whether the section is completed. All dots need to be green for it to be ready for submission. The exporter details need to be completed with a company who has sold the goods and is based outside of the UK. They are also known as the exporter. All mandatory fields are marked with an asterisk and the information icons will give you help if needed. Once the fields are complete, select Importer Details at the bottom of the screen to proceed to the next section. The Importer Details section needs to be completed with the details of the company who have bought the goods. All mandatory fields are marked with an asterisk and the information icons will give you help if needed. Once all required fields are completed, you can proceed onwards by selecting goods details at the bottom of the right hand screen. The Add Goods section is where you need to add in the details of the goods being exported. Select Add Goods. Enter the description of the goods shown on the supporting commercial documents. For example, toy cars. Select Next to enter or search for a commodity code. If you already know the commodity code, type it into the field. If not, select Get Commodity Code from HMRC which will take you to the UK Government website tariff lookup tool. Enter the commodity code then select the next button. You will be shown a screen showing the details of the tariff code and be asked to confirm if the code is correct. Once confirmed, please select the yes button. The Your Job reference will be automatically populated from the previous information entered at the start of the declaration. Enter the country of registration of the vehicle from the drop down menu and enter the registration number of the vehicle carrying the goods. If the vehicle is accompanied, select Yes. The trailer registration number should be completed if applicable, along with the ferry operator and the IMO number. Details of the ferry route must then be completed, including the ports of departure and arrival, the dates and the times. You will need a valid debit or credit card to make payments. Once completed, you will then be able to click Submit Declaration.